time to jump in and be a part of Giving Tuesday today as we continue our mission of achieving victory over violence. Ashley King takes a look at some organizations that you can help on this Giving Tuesday. I'm making tea. Make great tea. Healing Waters Outreach Center is a pivotal part of our Victory Over Violence campaign. Each week, the Shannon Hills facility feeds more than 200 people. It also opens its doors on Sundays for the community to use fake money to buy free things like shaving cream, cough drops, and even Burt's Bees chapstick. Volunteers help run the place and donations help keep the doors open, lights on, and food on the table. The Boys and Girls Club of Central Arkansas is also part of the Victory Over Violence campaign. The clubs have helped thousands of kids over the years, but that help is not free. It costs roughly $180,000 per month to keep the doors open, lights on, and programs running. I think there's a lot of people, a lot of confusion in that, oh, well, they've been around for 100 years. They're fine. They don't need any help from us. And that's just not true. Another organization fighting for victory over violence is the Arkansas Food Bank. The organization provides food to several nonprofits like the Union Rescue Mission's Nehemiah House. The Nehemiah House says without the food bank, it would not be able to provide thousands of meals to men who are recovering from drug and alcohol abuse. If you would like to donate to Healing Waters Outreach Center, the Boys and Girls Club, or the Food Bank, we have all of that information on KARK.com. Just go to the news tab at the top of the page and then scroll down to Victory Over Violence. Also, on December 11th, we will host a telethon during all of our newscasts to help raise money for the Food Bank. I'm Ashley King. Back to you.